Hi, welcome back to Grow New Plants. So last fall, I made two separate videos of planting white oaks in the fall. I planted bur oaks and I planted chinkapin oaks in one video, but at the time I made that video, I did not have any good live oak seeds yet. I collected those later and made a separate video for that. So I'm gonna, this is my results video from that, and I'm just gonna combine all three of them together. So as you can see, I got some pretty nice bur oaks, some pretty nice chinkapin oaks, Live oaks are still pretty small. They were started in smaller containers, but as of right now, they're still pretty small. And so I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna break them down into each particular one and I'm gonna up pot like maybe three of each kind just to keep the video short and then I'll up pot the rest of them later. So I'm gonna move in and we'll start out with the bur oaks. We'll take a look at those and we'll get three of them up potted. Okay, so I've got the bur oaks here. I've got some weeds coming up in them. They've just been sitting outside this spring. So. I'm going to give you the details on these first. I planted these last fall. There's a video of that, and I'll put a link to that video up there. This one was the white oaks one where I did the bur oaks and the chinkapin oaks together. And I planted them in the fall, and I can't remember if any of them, I think maybe a few of them actually germinated uh, in the fall itself, but they were working on roots and stuff like that, I'm sure, down below the ground. And then I had to keep them in the greenhouse over the winter, but I got temperatures down to like in the low teens for two, three, four days. And I think that maybe hurt them a little bit. But I've got bur oaks in the greenhouse that I planted, which I've already put that video out, but I don't have a results video on that yet. And they're not this far along yet. So these are better off than the ones that I planted in the spring, in the bur oaks. So I can say that they are a little bit better, but the fact that I wasn't able to protect them good because I didn't have a heated greenhouse when it got really cold, I think if I could have protected them in the heat, and I don't know if you've, if you've watched the video where I work on the tree program with the Ennis High School, uh, we did some at their place in the fall too, and they have a heated greenhouse, and theirs did great. Theirs were this big, like in the middle of the winter. So, and I haven't been out there, I need to go out there pretty soon. And I would, when I do, I'll take, I'll, maybe I'll make a short and show what those particular plants look like. But if I think if you've got a heated greenhouse, I think it makes sense to plant them in the fall. Uh, if not, I think you're probably just as well off just to not have to hassle with trying to protect them all winter, unless you have mild winters. Uh, you're better off just to go ahead and store your seeds in the refrigerator and you know, collect them in the fall, store them in the refrigerator and then plant them in the spring. So anyway, I'm gonna take three of these out and I'm gonna up plant these into my root maker pots, one gallon root makers. So I'm gonna take the biggest one, the smallest one, and the medium one out of all three of them. So this is probably, this one right here is probably the smallest one. And it really came out on the side so I'll get this thing pulled out of here. It's pretty wet, so I don't know how well they're gonna pull out. That kind of didn't come out very good. But it's got a decent amount of roots, but it's not great, honestly. So I'm gonna break the nut off because the squirrels will try and get that. Now this should survive just fine. So I'm gonna plant this one up. I've learned that that when you when you get to this point, they don't need the nut anymore. They're not feeding off of that anymore. And the squirrels will still, I take this and put it outside, the squirrels will still try and pull the tree up to get to that nut. So there's a small one. Now here's the, probably the biggest one out of the bunch. This is a really nice tree here. Let's see if it'll pull out. Yeah, it's gonna pull out. So that had a really nice root system. That was one of the bigger ones there. So we'll plant that one in there. So the trees did fine. I just don't know, honestly, if the hassle of starting them in the fall and having to worry about them all winter is worth it. And I honestly don't think it is. And I'll keep these marked separate so I know which ones were fall planted and which ones weren't. And we'll just go right across the thing here. This is what I would consider a medium sized one. 
this one's not going to hold together as well. But medium, a little bit better roots than the small one did, but not as good as the big one. So according to the trees, size of the tree, better the roots, which makes sense. Okay, so there is three of the bur oaks planted up. So I'll reset up and we'll move some of the chinkapin oaks in next. Okay, and I didn't say two, I counted those. There's eight out of 18 that I got trees out of in the bur oaks. The chinkapin oaks, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I got 11 out of 18 in the chinkapin oaks and I got all kinds of varieties. This is probably one of the smaller ones. I got several of them that came up double trunked and that's probably one of the bigger ones right there. So let's start out, that's, that one's really small. It's double trunk, so I'm probably not even gonna up pot that one yet, but we'll start with this one right here. So this one right here is one of the smaller ones. So we'll pull it up first. And that's a pretty decent little root system. You see the tap root right there where it went to the bottom and, and branched off. You see that right there? That's what those root maker trays do. So we'll plant that one up. It's kind of whomper jawed a little bit, but hopefully when it gets out in the sun by itself, it'll, it'll straighten that central leader. That central leader's one to go kind of crazy, but I'll plant the bottom part of it straight up and then that leader should straighten itself out with the sun. Okay, so that's one chink of an oak. And then we'll go find a, oh, what I consider a medium one. This one's probably a medium one right here. Let's we'll see if I can pull that one out. So that's a pretty good size of root system. And there's, you see where the tap root right here, and then it hit one of those openings and killed itself or killed the tip. And then it started branching out right there. So that's got a really nice little root system. And I'm gonna plant all the rest of these up off camera. I just wanted to just do, show you two or three of each kind, or three of them, I guess, of each kind, just so we kind of see what they did and what they look like. Okay, so we got one more, and it looks like this is probably the big dog right here. And see these bigger ones, they're pulling out full, complete root systems shaped to the pot. Got all those little fine roots growing all the way around. So this tree will take off. All those roots, you know, with these root maker pots, all those roots will just start taking off. They'll start taking off and growing almost immediately when you get them into a new pot. And they'll fill out these other pots pretty quick. Okay. So there's our three chinkapin oaks. So I'm going to get reset up one more time and we'll take a look at the live oaks. Okay, so here's our live oaks and that's not a live oak. I think that's an elm tree that came up. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I had the most come out of this, but this is a 32 cell tray. So there's quite a few of these that just basically didn't do anything. And there's a sub few like that one right there tried to root but it just couldn't. So I would say percentage wise, the live oaks are probably the lowest percentage and they're the smallest, but they were the last ones to come up too. I don't think any of the live oaks came up till spring. So I really don't know if it did any good. And the live oaks that I have planted in the greenhouse probably already got just as many as this up and they're probably about the same size maybe. So these are pretty small, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and up plant a couple of them. And they're all pretty close to the same size. I say this one's probably one of the smallest ones. It's still got a good central leader on it. So we'll start with this one. You know, and it pretty much, that's all she has. But I'm gonna plant it up anyway. I think it'll probably be fine. I think it'll grow. And if these don't do well, I'll, I'll trash them. But I'm just curious. 
and I'll, I'll track these too. I'm going to mark all these. When I put labels on all these, I'm going to mark them fall. And that way at the end of the summer, I can see whether there is actually any difference between them or not. So this is probably a, probably about a medium one right here. This has got a better root system on it, I can tell. It's really, honestly, it's probably about the same. It's holding it together a little bit better up at the top, but it's got roots all the way to the bottom of that container. It's still got a central leader on it, so that's good. I've learned these trees sometimes you just if they lose a central leader and you can't fix them they're not going to make a good tree it's better just to cull them out when you can so we've got one more and this is probably this one or this one is probably the biggest one out of the bunch so we'll just go with this one right here it's closest on that root had grown through the bottom. That one's got a lot better roots. You see the roots have branched out on it. Go and remove that nut. So this one actually looks pretty good. It's got a little more branching on the roots, so it should do better. And these things usually go through a pretty good growth spurt once they get up potted. And, and honestly, I don't know. I'll probably up pot some of these, some of these real little ones. I probably won't even mess with. I'll probably just leave them sitting in a corner and let them grow up a little bit more. And if they do, if they do better and get bigger, then I may up pot them later. But I've got a whole nother tray of these in the greenhouse too. So, so there's our three little live oaks. So let me get them all set back up here and we'll talk about them one more time. Okay, so here they are. Here's my nine new trees. And so uh, my conclusion on this is for where I'm at and with the winters that we get, if we got winters that only got down like in the mid 20s and stuff like that, I think it would make sense to go ahead and pot them up in the fall and leave them. But being it, we may stay that temperature. It may not get to freeze until January sometimes in our summers, I mean in our winters, but we always get that one week where we get just really, really cold. It gets down in the low teens and sometimes even in the single digits. And that's just really hard on them. And if I don't have a heated greenhouse, it's really hard to take care of them like I should be able to. So probably will not do fall plantings again, depending on your climate. And if you've got a heated greenhouse somewhere you can protect them over the winter, it might make sense to go ahead and do them. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please share, please like, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.